Ever wonder how to cover the side lights on your front door? I'm Jennifer with Jennifer Decorates. I've got a super easy and beautiful solution, so stay tuned. Uh, this is week four of quarantine, so we are finding a lot of different projects to do around the house. You may hear some construction. My husband is outside building us some new steps. One of the things that has been driving me crazy is the side windows of our front door because people, when they come up the steps, they can see in. We sit right there in the living room, kind of feel vulnerable. When we first moved into this house, we replaced this front door, but the side lights were just way too expensive. Check this out. Look at this. I found an easy solution and I'm gonna show you how I did this. All right, let me show you what I found. It comes in this box. It is a vinyl cling and comes on white paper like this. Now, they do make these that fit side lights. Side lights usually are either six inches wide or 12 and about 63 inches long, but I couldn't find any of the styles that I really liked and the one I chose is called Old English. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, Sandra Lee used to do a cooking show called Semi-Homemade. Well, I'm gonna adapt that concept today and why, what I'm saying about that is because we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I put this vinyl on the window and then I'm gonna make it look even more real because at the craft store these are the lead linings that you use when you're doing real stained glass and then this is the liquid leading and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this to make it look like real stained glass it might be kind of hard for you to see I'll do a close-up later but this pattern actually has lines that go across so that's gonna make it really easy for me to butt the two together on the window and no one can ever tell it's two different pieces so while I'm gonna have to piece two pieces together this is sort of like wallpaper where the top and the bottom they'll match so see if I put this down that's gonna match perfectly so it makes it really easy I've got it measured out. I put it on this cutting board. I'm using a metal ruler so that I can take a box cutter, come straight down. See how easy that is? And then I'm just gonna keep going. First thing you wanna do, you gotta clean your window. And I don't, someone introduced me to these microfiber towels they're the best thing ever for cleaning windows and not leaving streaks make sure you get everything off and your windows really clean the next step you have to get a spray bottle they want you to fill it with warm water and you drop just a couple of drops of your liquid dish soap in and inside my kit came this little squeegee so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the window with this with the liquid soap in it and then I'm going to apply the vinyl cling to it now you're gonna spray that window first but kind of get the corner of that vinyl ready and I did the left side and I want to make sure the pattern is exactly the same on the right side so I'm just gonna spray my window All right, and then I'm gonna peel very slowly the vinyl off the backing. And I'm gonna set it in there. And then that's when you take the squeegee that they gave you and you start from the middle and go out. See, you're getting rid of the bubbles. And the instructions say to also spray again once it's on there. And then I just make sure all the bubbles are out. Super easy. Thank you. 
make sure you get that one if you've cut yours make sure you've butted it up real tight and then start pushing the bubbles out all right so here's the first step that we're going to kind of make this look like it is real stained glass and that's by adding these lead strips and they come very thin like so and they come with an adhesive back but i really didn't feel like it was going to stick well enough so what i'm going to do is take some mod podge and a really thin little brush and if you come in a little closer let me set this down i'm going to get a little bit and remember mod podge dries clear sorry and i'm just going to do the edge Just kind of come down a little bit and anything that you get on the vinyl you can easily wash off and the way you do that is you just wet your brush and come back over it but let me show you how I'm gonna add the lead I'm gonna add it to the corner just push it in it's that easy so for the last step to make this vinyl stained glass look real, I'm going to use, this is called gallery glass. It's um, simulated liquid leading. So I'm going to put a bunch on a plate like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paintbrush, but I'm going to take the other end and come down into it. And what you're going to do is you dab it in right on top of that, kind of move it around a little bit and it makes a perfect little circle. And you want to keep doing that until you feel like that lead kind of dries out pretty quick. So I usually only get about three or four and then I'll add more to my plate. Well, while you don't have to add the letting strips like I did and the little dots, I really think um, it really added to the entire look. This was super easy. You can get this vinyl between $20 and $40, and I think I spent about $10 or $15 on the lead items. Super easy project. I'm gonna link everything I used in the description. Make sure you look there. Now, before I let you go, in the last video, um, it was about my master bedroom, and we, uh, my husband and I were in a conundrum whether it was going to be a ceiling fan or a chandelier. So let me take you in there and show you what we opted for. So here's what happened. Uh, my husband took the old fan down and we had a tower fan sitting here and I might've been the one that realized um, I kinda liked the fan, I was getting hot, so we got a fan. But what I did, and I'm not make, making a video on how I did this because I think most of you are gonna think I'm out of my mind, but I took a brand new fan from Lowe's and I used Venetian plaster and I covered the entire fan with that plaster to make it look really old and I added a lot of paint, a little gold, a little brown. Here's what it looks like. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this quick DIY project. Um, leave me a comment. Maybe you guys have an idea of something you'd like to see me do because goodness knows I am bored in the house. So uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna have more videos out later. You guys be safe and be well. Thank you.